Hello everybody, welcome to episode 14 of All the Mods 9 to the Sky, where today we upgrade our blood altar to tier 3 and uh, start getting reinforced slates. Uh, but we no longer use our own blood. Let's see how we do this. Okay, well, let's get into this. Uh, first thing I want to do is make a divine sigil, which we will need an alchemy cable to make these arcane ashes. Uh, so we'll make the alchemy cable. Uh, I'll take this over to the blood magic area. Don't have my jetpack on me. I left it over there charging. Um, yeah, this this is the front of it. And uh, one of the things we want to do is put the bloodstone right there. We're also going to need white dye. And we'll toss in that uh, white dye, redstone, gunpowder, and oh, what was the last thing? Coal. Which I apparently left over there. Thought I had it all. Grab a piece of coal from this wall. That's a great thing about getting the weather skeletons. Okay, so it says soul network inf insufficient life points in soul network or blood ore. Okay, so one way we can get that is put this in here. And it will build up a life essence in this. This is one reason why we need that sigil is to see how much life points we actually have in our uh, network. So we've, we've set that in there for a little bit. I'm not sure if that's going to be enough. Okay, yeah. It was enough life points. And there we go. We got the arcane ash. Now, with the arcane ash, we're going to toss it on... We're going to need Blank Rune, which I left all the Blank Runes in the AET system. You know, you know, being prepared. Being prepared and everything. Um, grab more of these Blank Slates. This is all I've gotten done so far. Okay, so what I did was right-click the ground, and that put this initial symbol here. Okay, so next we're going to need a piece of red stone. And we'll toss that in there by right-clicking. So we'll just right-click it. And then we'll right-click this with a blank slate. Then there's nice little particle effects with that eye in the symbol center there. And there we go. Now we have the divination signature. Okay, it shows that we currently have 462 life points in our network. Not bad. Not good, but not bad. And it will also show us exactly how much blood is in our blood pool to the left up there, as well as what tier it is. So it even shows the max capacity. So that's one of the things I wanted. Now, I need 20 more blank stones and four gold or glow stones to uh, upgrade that. And, uh, do, do, do. some more of these blank slates, which did I leave the, yeah. 
Of course, just leaving blip, leaving stuff all over the place. All right. Um, all right. So that is. Resex this out of here. Right there. Now, do we have glowstone? Uh, we should have some glowstone in here. Just need a total of four. Put those away for a later rainy day need. Uh, and how to upgrade this is first get this wandering trader off of this platform. There we go. And place right along there. Oh my. Right along there. Uh, this five as well. This five. And that five. As well as glowstone on top of all four of those. And now when we look with the divination sigil at this, you'll see it reads tier three. Uh, the next tier is a little trickier to get. Uh, it requires us to perform a ritual to do it, but that is not the goal today as of yet. Uh, let's go down here to blood magic. Um, ah, I want a dagger of sacrifice. So to make that, we're going to need life, uh, an iron sword, 3,000 life points, and we'll get that. Okay, so, oh, and also a speed upgrade. Uh, speed rune. Yeah, okay, so... That's relatively not hard to do, but we've got ourselves an iron sword. Another thing I would like to do is make a XP tank in four buckets. Uh, the reason why is I have a way we're going to get the XP and it requires us to drain uh, four buckets of life into here. Okay. And there's about 280 left. Okay. Uh, to do this, we're going to need GM chicken seeds. GM chicken feed. All right. And we have us a nice little um, sacrifice. How much dirt do we have? I need uh, some more dirt. We have uh, leaves. Uh, how about saplings? Yeah, we've got we'll, we'll we'll start that up while we're getting this set up here. We will put that in there. Watch it spin around and around. 
And I think I want to turn these top eight into speed upgrades. And uh, I want to also look at capacity. Uh, it requires imbued slate. Imbued slates are tier three. So yeah, okay. Now how this works is, well, let's, uh, we're, we're, we have a we have a visiting friend. Let's grab a mob yoinker. Three of them. And I'm not up to this yet. Uh, we right click with the uh -huh. oh I need 18 more uh, XP to yoink this mop uh, to get that we'll just go into this grab some of these giant ones and we can just right click to our heart's content burning right through all of these Okay, so I should have enough to yoink this mob. And don't worry, you're next. I mean, you'll be visiting this as well. We'll make him stand right here and hit him with the dagger of sacrifice. With No, that's not what I want to do. And uh, that that's filling up our blood pool. What I mean by that is... Uh, it's hard to tell with uh, that one, but if we take the fine thing there, we can see that we have 8,320. can set this guy here. Hit him with that. Now we have 8,718. It's that easy to get free uh, life points into our uh, system over there. So give me a moment uh, to finish making this dirt and I will be right back. Okay, we're back. So we're going to need an absorption hopper. Simple enough for this because did you guys notice that there was uh, mob drops that kept flying out of everywhere? We don't need those. So we just need something to toss them into so we'll just get a item trash can and uh, we'll just set it up uh, say let's see here we don't want it to be seen so what if we set the absorption hopper here and the trash can here. That way, any items going to the west, okay. Any items going to the south? Items going to the north. There we go. There we go. So we got to be careful around here that we don't toss anything we 
don't want uh, or do want because yeah they'll go falling um deciding whether or not this should be up one more yeah i think we should make it go up see like there Uh, we should definitely make it go up one more. Uh, so, yeah, we got to be very careful around here now. Uh, so, let's say this. That's on top. Uh, I should go get some vector plates. I'm not sure if this is too high up. I might be. We'll, we'll see. We'll give it a try. Next, I want to put down 25 dirt uh, on top of this and a simple five by five pattern all right there we go five by five and uh, I want to get my snowstone that I've been making some of as a decoration for this. You know, I, I want it to look somewhat nice looking and creepy at the same time. There we go. There we go. And now I'm going to say, yeah, I'm only going to have it go up two so that it's only like skeletons, creepers, zombies, and witches will get spawned in there. All right. Um, About this, can we make some smooth slabs? Oh, I didn't. I thought I finished that. All right, place these smooth slabs along there. Do do do. Apparently, I. Forgot to bring my building wand over with me. Let's let's go get that building wand. Make this easier on us. All right. And this is why we wanted the the rotten egg for. Is we're gonna make a, a small. mob prison over here. Let's get some more smooth stone. And now we need 25 or 24 vector plates. See if we can actually make these. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Uh, 
Uh, let's just hold on to one set of this. Okay, we have uh, six more. Four. All right. Twenty-four. Perfect. Perfect. Right on the nose. And what this will do is get the mobs to go in a set direction. I want their final spot to be that square. All right, and we'll set uh, the this to be that side. Balance this all out. Okay, so by the time they'll end up here. Good. All right, so now uh, I made this tinted glass from Minecraft, which allows mobs to be spawned through it or, or on the dark side of it. It's a great vanilla mechanic. All right, so once we get to this stage, take the run egg, hit that center area, pop that center one out. Uh, nothing is spawning just yet, but once we close it up, should have spawns in there. So let's give it a moment for it to do some spawns for us. Oh, there we go. And they come down to this area right here. And we can right click them, add their life essence to our life pool. Oh. Just just seeing if any of them can see us. So should be a little bit faster than it actually is. So I'm not sure what's going on here. Um, but I would like to make another orb. Actually, we can make the tier three orb as well. Uh, at blood orb tier three, the magician orb requires, yeah, tier three and a block of gold. You see that it's going into that. Okay, those are still not being picked up like they should be. So, what I'm going to do do is break that and that. Uh, toss those to the side, toss those to the side, and toss that to the side. Get this blank worm back up in here. And, uh, see here. We set that absorption hopper there. And click show area. Now can we move that up? Okay, up one, two, too many times. There we go. 
There we go. So anytime we kill the mobs there. Okay, so the mobs can actually see us right here. This is not the ideal spot. But we got the Apprentice Orb now. And nothing spawning up there. That is what we want to see here. Down to two buckets. And almost three buckets of life. So give me a moment. Uh, I'm going to go make some more runes and see how much time we've uh, how much time we have left. Okay, guys. Um, there, there's a little bit of an issue over on that mob farm. Let's see here. Can we make some more of these? That's it. Uh, one more set. Yeah, that should be more than enough. And... The issue is uh, we have an Enderman problem. Quite literally, we have Enderman spawning. And, or not Enderman, we have uh, slimes, slime spawning. And, uh, yeah, and it's pretty much locking up the rest of these guys when I'm trying to get the uh, life essence into the pool. There we go. And uh, one of the solutions came up with is we're going to raise the roof on this by one, hoping that's going to work. One second to get this down here. And we will break these guys. Now I have to be very careful with that uh, soil because if we expose it to the light, it will uh, actually stop working. We don't want that. Let's grab our tinted glass here. So we're, we're not going to be able to, like, quick break all these up. Just going to have to set these down here. And I don't know if this is actually working or not as a roof. Because at night it seemed to have been faster. So I don't know if that was a... Uh, this there's too much light getting into it and you know what I might actually replace the roof since we have enough of this uh, with glass uh. 
Uh, now that I say that, I notice it's daytime. So give me a second to wait until it's night, and uh, we'll finish up here. Okay, guys. Uh, I have this set up here. What I want to do is... I'm not sure if I... No, no, I don't like that right there. But, but we have our first uh, big guy there. And you see that it will break them up into the smaller ones because they'll jump right into it. Not sure if the Yeah, okay, okay. Even the medium sized guys will break up into the uh and I guess that that's perfectly fine. I know you're going, oh no, you, you just threw it away. No, I turned this off so I could get this stuff back. Um, and I am going to put a slab top over top of the glass still. Make it look nice. And now, now we can actually... Go into this, hit this, hit these guys. You know, fill this back up with life essence. So let me uh, state this, guys. Uh, we we didn't get much done. We did get uh, our blood altar so we can uh, fill it up without our own life essence. which is a step in the right direction. Uh, I didn't get the tier two rune set up, but uh, one of the things I want to work on is capacity because I was looking at the blood orbs and the tier three one here takes 25,000. So that's the 10,000 that's in there. We need 10,000 more. Uh, and then when we get to the master one here, we're going to need 40,000. So I, I'm definitely going to add capacity along those two lines and I think speed on the inner circle for runes. So, what I mean by that is, let me take this out, break one of these guys real quick, and I'll show you how we make the speed. Or, do we have the sugar? We might not have the sugar. Hmm. Do we still have the snad? Yes. There is the snad. We'll come over here. Put snad here. Put sugar cane there. Sugar cane grows pretty fast on snad and Keep pressing the button for turning my jetpack off uh, from the old pack that I was doing. Rune of Speed. Hmm. Oh, it's Speed Rune. Just take stone. Sugar cane, blank slates, and we get speed runes. 
And what this will do is uh, when we place this here, any of our any of our things that we process here will go a lot quicker, which does honestly take up less uh, less blood. So uh, that is everything, guys. I'm going to get those runes of speed in, and I can think the runes of capacity. Uh, which takes imbued slates. Imbued slates is tier three, which takes reinforced slates. Okay, so how we get reinforced slates and imbued slates? Uh, I am going to turn you to uh, allow. No, deny. And. What this will do is build, I'm going to build up some blood here. Uh, 2,000 is enough for the next one, so we can put this in here. Uh, it will begin processing slowly and surely. And then it will become the next here slate, which is the reinforced slate. Now we can uh, set this up so that it will not recognize reinforced slates. We're, we're going to turn that back on after we get a downgrade for this. Okay, so we need a downgrade. Uh, at functional, we're going to need a configuration tool. Post this in here. We need a iron downgrade. Okay, that will only allow one stack of items in the thing. And the configuration tool will let us put the blank slates and the reinforced slates in there to the spots we want them to be in. So we'll hit this. It can only hold one stack now, so uh, reinforced slates, blank slates, and we see it can hold only a stack. And we'll, we'll give it a stack of stone as well. Okay. Uh, configuration tool. There we go. A stack of stone as well. And this way, uh, I can get a enough blood in here. We need five thousand. Oh, this guy needs to be set back up to east. Alright, uh, once we get 5k or 5,000 in here, we can get the next one. Uh, I just gotta wait until it's night again, so. Come on, come on. Come on.
There we go. I need to set up that teleportation preventer from uh, hostile mob networks. Or not hot. Uh, not hostile. Um, there we go. So now that we've got five, we can take this reinforced slate. Toss this in here. It's going to use some blood points. It, occasionally they'll drop down there, the slimes will, and just die. And there we go. We've got an imbued slate. So... Rune of uh, capacity, a really nice. What it will do for us is, well, let me go over here with one of the blank rooms and get a rune of capacity rune. Uh, there are two types, Reinforced Rune of Capacity, oh wait, sorry, Rune of Augmented Capacity and Rune of Capacity. I can't remember which is more important. I think the Rune of Capacity uh, is the one we want. Uh, and if you remember over there, we only have 10,000 life points. I will set this down here with the, the room, 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 room. Where's... Ah, up there in the upper left-hand corner, you can see we got another 2,000 blood it can hold. So 12,000 now it can hold. So we can keep... Uh, Raising the, what we'll do is we'll take, uh, we'll set this up so that even get the reinforced ones. I will, I will have to add the reinforced one to it. I think we can just do this. Type in slate. Uh... Re reinforced slate. Okay, so what this will do is we'll click the allow. And once the blank slates get full, uh, what will happen is then it will try to make the next tier of slates for us. So. Uh, I will be back next episode. If you like this episode, hit that like button. And if you disliked it, please leave a comment down below and let me know. If you've not done so yet, hit that subscribe button. It really does help me out a lot. And until next time. Later, Gators.